the spoils before dying because this is such a great idea. Yeah. This is set, uh, w w would you, it's the 50s. Would you say it's the 50s, late 40s? Yes, it's sort of a noir, late 40s, early 50s. Um, the world, like the underground world of jazz. Yes. Um, where people are like very hip and there's a, there's a lot of smoking going on mm -hmm. and a lot of, um, a lot of uh, terminology that people don't use anymore. Right. Um, oh, it's, it's so beautifully done. Uh, my buddies, uh, Matt Piedmont and Andrew Steele, who are also from SNL, um, did it. They did the Spoils of Babylon first. Yep. And this one is like a whole other era and a whole other weird, wonderful world. I got to be um, a jazz singer named Fresno Foxglove. Fresno Foxglove. You know what I love about it is that the, it's the terminology. You guys have really captured the spirit of those times. And then all that, that crazy early jazz Yeah, where it's like a cat. Everybody's a cat and you dig. Yeah. And it's just, it's, it's fantastic. And you guys have a lot of fun with it. You have a lot of fun with playing out. Everyone's so intense but they're talking in this language which we now absurd, uh, uh, you know, think is kind of absurd and crazy. It, it is, yeah, it is. And it's great, because it just like, it just specifically stopped during that era. Like, no one asks anybody if they dig anymore. Like, go clean your room, you dig. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel like if I, I feel like if I use that, I'd get taken advantage of a lot as a mom. Like, oh, my mom's real loose. Yeah. She asks me if I dig all the time. I'm yeah. Like, what do you mean, do, do I dig? Well, it's funny because even back then, marijuana was, I remember once one of my uncles, you know, uh, one, of my, one of my uncles, he wasn't, he didn't smoke marijuana or anything, but I remembered him once referring to them when I was a kid, like, yeah, those, those musicians over there probably smoking those jazz cigarettes. Oh, I <laughs> like, love that. I was like, what's a jazz cigarette? A jazz cigarette? He's like, yeah, he's got a, he said he's probably got, he's, he saw the guitarist and he said that guitarist has probably got a jazz cigarette stuffed down his bootleg. Oh my like, God. <laughs> What the I, hell are you talking I about? I love that stuff. We, <laughs> that guitarist does not. That guy, yes, he does. Uh, I love that stuff. We, um, as a family, we actually, we uh, keep Turner Classic movies on. Yes. Um, but in our kitchen, this is actually real, like 24 hours a day. Um, so that it will seep into the children's uh, minds is was. You have how many kids now? Four. You have four kids, and yeah. so you want them. Thank you. you want them to. Just sort of like. You want them to know all that terminology. Absorb, absorb all those those looks and all the terminology and just like, and it's really funny because like you'll you know you'll come to the kitchen, you know, late to get a snack and someone is talking like this, you see, or like you know you, you're like hearing it or like or, or in the morning you were all in there you know and everybody's, it's by the toaster, the TV's by the toaster, so then you like you hear like I'll I'll be making breakfast and I look over and my four year old son's just like, <laughs> watching it and it's like. It's like some beautiful lady talking to somebody with like a cigarette <laughs> or something, you know, like, but just whenever they're just like, and I'm wondering like, what is my son thinking? You know, like, or, or, or and he's like, picking up all this great, uh, this great sort of classic yeah. speak. There's, I think one of the great movies of all time for that stuff is Sweet Smell of Success oh, with, wow. uh, with Tony Curtis. It's a great movie. And there's a line that has, it has, it has a million, and they play it on Turner Classic Movies, but it has a million great lines in it. It's got, it's just packed with them. But one of my favorite ones is someone asks, Tony Curtis, did you get the job done? And, he's, and he says to Tony Curtis, did you get the job done? And Tony Curtis says, the cat's in the bag and the bag's in the river. <laughs> and you're like, <laughs> that's the, so every now and then my wife will say to me like, did you get those grapefruits? And I'm like, the cat's in the bag, the bag's in the river. <laughs> She's like, I married an idiot. <laughs> that's wonderful. I love that one. That yeah. I married a cat drowner. <laughs> <laughs> you were killing cats and my kids are crying. <laughs> he killed a cat. Hey, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so they will stop making me shoot these videos. Please.